Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are finally breaking down Butt Shadow. Uh, Butt Shadow was the season three qualifying gift. So, well, she was also an A commander. You could have released, uh, I don't know, for us, it was like six months ago, then she never came back. But she's a walker commander. She was made available to anyone who made it to the playoffs in season three of the Galactic Battle. Uh, and she is a really good commander compared to the previous commander we had. In the last season we had uh, Echo, I believe, and Echo sucked. But uh, anyway, if you ate him, you don't get him back. So with Moonshadow, we'll probably see her again. Uh, but anyway, this is her video. So Walker meta right now is really strange. It's very clear that Rogers is the best commander in the game and Golem is the best offensive air commander in the game. And then for infantry, it's very clear that Stella is the best commander in the game for infantry. And then Plasma is the best trading commander in the game. So infantry is pretty well figured out. Airship is pretty well figured out. And Walker is kind of somewhere in between. And it doesn't mean that Walker isn't as good or better. It's just that it really does have play a versatile role. Infantry hits so hard and it's such a good counter to air and airship is so defensive and has so much HP, it's a relatively good uh, destroyer of Walker. And then Walker on that in that same you know in that same equation has good damage and good defense. So it kind of does great against infantry and okay against airship when it's even though it's at a disadvantage. Um, but it can kind of go both ways. If you go for like a Leo gem and a Taurus gem. Um, those bonuses, the 60% defense lowering or attack increase from those gems really does make Walker capable of taking down airships, um, where normally when you go against your, your weaker matchup, that's not really a possibility. I mean, infantry doesn't do very well against Walker, but Walker does okay against airship. So what we're trying to figure out is where Walker fits in. And I think if you're one of those players that kind of wants to mix it up, you just, if you go airship, you kind of have to go Golem or Rogers. I mean, there's some room for Blader and Raymond. But eventually, you, you're going to lose to a Rogers or Golem. Um, but with with Walker, you can kind of mix it up, and that's that's kind of where Moonshadow fits in. And um, her equivalent is kind of like Chief, right? They got that 40% hit skill. Um, for her, it's it's Spirit uh, Sword, and it's a guaranteed hit, and damage increases by 15%. Well, uh, she also gets 50% bonus damage if the target she's hitting has a buff. Um, about half the commanders that are in the top 10 have buffs. So she's kind of like good against some matchups and not so good against others. Um, and that that's kind of a toss up. But um, Plasma she's good against, but for Stella, for example, she's still good against Stella, but Stella doesn't buff herself and uh, the X doesn't buff herself. But uh, Plasma does at 40%. So, you know, she's maybe a better matchup there. But then again, if she one shots Plasma, you know, Hoodoo's a better answer for Plasma. So anyway, uh, her equivalent being a 40% hill uh, skill hit commander would be Chief. And Chief, uh, his ability, 40% hit, and it's slightly better. It's uh, instead of one for one, so level 15 was 15% bonus on Moonshadow. For Chief, it's 15% gives you 60% bonus damage. Um, and because if you've seen the uh, Golem versus Chief video, I want to show you a replay here just to kind of show you how that works so that you could see it live. And uh, we'll go with... Moonshadow first. We're using tier 9 airships here with the same gear, so you can see the damage uh, Yeah, equally. So we can ignore the, the awakening. So there's a the spirit sword. Okay, on the first troop, this is her bonus 15% damage, and it's going to do, you know, 6, what was that, uh, 600,000? Yeah, 610,000. Here's a regular hit, uh, 550,000. So her damage went up about 10%. It should have been 15, but this game doesn't do math like that. It's more of an additive multiplier, so she got about 10%. That's not bad. Um, and based on that logic, we would expect if uh, Chief skill is four times harder, we should expect Chief to hit for instead of 10%, more like 40%. Uh, so let's see what Chief hits for on his Rampage ability. So if she was hitting for 500 thousand or so we should expect his bonus damage to hit for about 70,000 maybe here's the rampage the Gemini doesn't have a damage proc so 860,000 so 40% uh, increase okay so that's about right so uh, chief does hit substantially harder than moonshadow but moonshadow increases that damage even more if the targets buffed so she's got the guaranteed hit chief's got the guaranteed hit chief has the super laser which increases his damage a little more and then uh, moonshadow has instead of that bonus damage she has 
another form of bonus damage in the uh, in the shape of what what Ghost Cannon does for Bullet or what um, Annihilator Ray does for uh, Rock. And that's kind of why I put Moonshadow slightly above Chief because I really, really like this silent skill. It's like I said, like Ghost Cannon, like Annihilator Ray. It acts as a double strike. So it goes first and it has a chance to miss, but it's based off the troop stack. So tier one can trigger this. And why it's so good is in the late game, especially if you want to hit somebody's arc really hard with your full force. Well, if you have a hundred thousand leadership or 200,000 leadership and you have full tier nine, tier 10 or tier 11, you don't want to risk your full army. You don't know what's garrisoned on that guy's arc. Um, depending on what kind of server you're on, you pretty much have to speed hit everyone on our server. So you don't have the luxury of scouting or sending two armies to check first. You just go for it. And with her, you can just send a full march of, of yetis and really risk, uh, a, yeah, a lot of yetis. But they're not they're not tier 9 or tier 10 to repair. They're easy. They're throwaway troops. You build them nonstop. So because of how versatile she is... Um, with tier one and having that guaranteed hit skill at higher levels, I do put her as the best walker commander in that regard. Now, if you're the boss of your server and you can one-shot people's armies, I say hoodoo's better in that regard. But uh, like I said, walker's versatile. Depending on where you're at in your server, walker kind of gives you some options. If you want to be a, a, a commander that uses low tier um, just yetis and never risk big troops, just play rock. If you want to use... Moonshadow for a lot of high-end battles, but also some, you know, you have a high leadership, so you want to do some low-tier stuff just to take lower risk, play Moonshadow. Um, if you want to play Galileo and just stack, like, defense and HP, maybe a little bit of attack, but uh, you can have that, that healing reinforcement that Galileo offers. But I throw Moonshadow right at the top of the list because if you're like me and you go to attack somebody's arc, and you've got to use all tier one, and you know if they have a tier suppression march, just, just garrison there, just one row of one troop of tier suppression, your tier one will get dominated. A million troops will die to one tier seven troop with tier suppression. So if you have a skill like Silence, or Ghost Cannon, or Annihilator Ray, uh, they will break through that small little garrison and save you you know half a million troops, and steal resources off your opponent and warp them if you hit them hard enough. So... That's why I like Moonshadow. I think she's a really underrated hero. Uh, but like I said, the Walker meta is kind of strange right now, so that, that's why we don't see her too much. But I think coming in the next Galactic Battle, uh, we're going to see a little more of Moonshadow, and rightfully so. All right, that's our Moonshadow video. And I'll try to do the Walker videos as, I don't know, the weeks roll out here. There's so much to do, and gathering the evidence is a, is a little bit of work. But um, as far as gear is concerned, like I said, the gyms, gyms were uh, Leo... Uh, and uh, Taurus, and um, I, I think that's the way to go on her. You want to build offense. That's that's the way I would do it. Um, Gemini's okay. You know, that's a common gem. But, uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the community. If you have any questions, comments below, ask. We respond to them. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching the video.